As we continue on to use the hypervolt, we're just going to focus on another part of the body. We're going to do the lower limb from the knee down. So Devin, we're going to, Devin's going to show us how we would use it on the peroneals, the lower part of the leg, and also the foot. So we're going to turn it on. Again, we're going to use the first or second setting. And I'll hand that to Devin. Um, she's going to start right below her knee. So, so on the lateral aspect of the leg here, there's a little bony prominence, the fibular head. We just want to be too careful, want to be a little careful about going right on the fibular head here or right underneath it. We just don't want to bug the sciatic nerve. So stay out, out of that region, come up here. And then you can go ahead and straighten your leg. Devin, straight, straight out in front of you. And then because what's really nice is to flex the foot yeah, and then point the toes while you're going up and down the peroneals. Now the peroneals are running north to south. So again, we want to cross fiber by going kind of medially to laterally on the muscle fibers. And she's going to just point and flex. And you might find that it gets a little nervy when you get too close to the ankle joint. So you want to just kind of stay in the meat of the peroneals. You can come over further here, though. You're totally safe. Exactly. You can roll your leg like that. That's great. Come on back in and get the whole angle there. And then come out to the side. Roll. Perfect. And play with pointing and flexing and internally and externally rotating the leg. Really great way to target the peroneals. Another great one to do after squatting as well or running, um, rowing, anything where you're doing a lot of dorsiflexion, this is gonna, you're gonna find this to be really helpful. Great, and once we hit up the peroneals, again, focusing on 30 to 60 seconds if you're trying to activate or longer if you're trying to sedate it, we're also gonna move into the foot because part of that dorsiflexion is gonna be really important to relax the plantar fascia as well. So what Devin can do then is she can bend her knee and she can come into the bottom of her foot and she can play with a little bit of flexion and extension as she runs through the plantar fascia of the foot. Now again, the plantar fascia runs north to south, so you might want to do a little bit back and forth and north to south movement as well and just vary the movement to relax the bottom of the foot. We have the round circular ball that she's using right now. That's really effective um, and it feels really good for these regions. You could also use the flat head. This would be really great. I don't use the pointy um, attachment that much. This might be one where you could get away with it using that a little bit in the bottom of the foot and also on the peroneals. But again, I would just recommend that you use moderate pressure. Don't jam the tool in. Let the vibration do the work and allow your body's movement with the tool to help facilitate the release of the muscle tissue.